So I'm up to this point where we're sharing the the coaching matrix. Ah, the coaching um, matrix. Yeah. So again, not going to go through all the details here, but you just see here if that cadet turns up who's doing less than 20k a month in revenue and they just really need to grow their their revenue. The first three things we're gonna we're gonna suggest are that they craft their offer, do their first thirty triage calls, and then do their first ten strategy calls, right? Uh, and then you know if they're a if they're a top gun and they're like, look, our revenue's really good, but we're just still doing you know too many client services, and we've got most of our products dialed in, but I think there's more we can do here. Um, and so one of the conversations we have with Mavericks a lot is I'm the only one in the business that can still come in and solve those strategic problems or those technical problems. So what we would suggest a Top Gun do there is codify their thinking, which is exactly what I'm doing here, create a diagnostic tool, which is a kind of what we've done here to help other people in the business diagnose problems and provide solutions, and then scale the value of their IP by either trademarking it or licensing it or turning it into software or whatever. So these are conversation starters based on where the client's at and the problem that they've currently got, right? So this, what you're looking at here is an internal document that we would use to help uh, our coaches coach more consistently and make sure that everyone's singing from the same hymn book, so to speak. I think, it's, I think it's important to show this because you know, I've talked to people who are don't realize what that we coach at all three of those levels. Um, like they, they're maybe they're a cadet and they think we only coach top guns, or maybe they're a top gun and they mm -hmm. think we only coach cadets and pilots. Mm -hmm. So it's really mm -hmm. good to show that we can cover a broad spectrum. Mm -hmm. That's the wine speaking, yeah. a broad <laughs> spectrum of different kinds of clients. Mate, it's some of your best of, yeah. work. It's it, this is some of your best work. Go with it. Go go with the wine talking. I'm I'm go all wine. in. Maybe I should start drinking wine at like nine a.m. You've got <laughs> that's a slippery slope. Once you've got this, once you've and so what I would suggest if you're doing websites, SEO, and care plan, right? What you I'm just going to off the off the cuff here. Right? What you could do is you could say, look, there are three types of clients that we typically work with. Right? You could say. Uh, we have uh, businesses that are doing less than 500. And let's say that your niche is coaches. I'm going to talk about Carl here from Static Shift in New Zealand, right? He's in Mavericks Club. His audience are coaches. He basically builds websites for coaches. Sammy Johnson at Neapolitan Creative in Southern California, she basically builds websites for female entrepreneurs who have membership websites, right? Thought leaders, course creators, that kind of thing. If that's your niche, you might say, we've got three levels of customers. We've got this type of stuff we do for people who are under 500K a year in revenue and we do a little bit for them and then we kind of help them, teach them how to manage the content on their own website because they can't afford to hire us, you know, to do the whole thing. Then we've got clients between 500 and 2 mil in revenue and we do a bit more for them. There's a bit more of an engagement and then we've got clients over 2 mil in revenue where we kind of do all this stuff. And so they, if they're your three levels of customers, for example, then your three categories might be uh, discovery or, or strategy, uh, launching and, and, and actually managing the website and then post launch stuff, which would be, you know, might be SEO ads and care plan. So you could lump SEO ads and care plan into the post launch stuff, right? Post launch services or, or marketing or ongoing, uh, in the middle, that middle column would be your website launching and managing the website. And the first column might be the discovery and the strategy stuff. And then you would just ask yourself, okay, well, if a client comes in who's doing less than 500K in revenue, what do we do for them when it comes to the strategy and the website and the post-launch stuff? And then once they elevate and they're up to a million dollars a year in revenue, then we move up to the next row and we say, okay, well, now we can do this stuff and now we can do this and now we can do this because you've got the revenue and the resources to pay us to do that stuff, right? So just scratch this out on the back of a napkin and where the rubber really hits the road then is when you start to present this as a marketing piece to your audience and it comes together and looks something like this, which I think is just a beautiful visual. Where Pete's put a lot of work into this, as has Kat, uh, to, to try and communicate to our audience, hey, if you're a cadet, you might be here, right? You might be starting off, you're less than 20K a month in revenue and you're less than 10% recurring. That's a broad brushstroke. It's a it's a it's a broad idea, right? Your journey is you need to take off. You need to get the business to take off and become a pilot. 
and a pilot, you're between 20 and 70 a month in revenue and your recurring's you know, up to about 30%. And then you need to elevate to become a top gun where your, your revenue's over 70K and your recurring is up to about 70%. And then at that point, you can accelerate, really put your foot on the pedal and, and go for it. But this is the journey you can go on. So this is a nice visual that tells people, all right, I'm here, I can get to here and I can get to here. And then we have this checklist, which basically shows you all the things that you need to do in order to get from one level to the next.